I am Adam Schumann. I am Adam Schumann. I don't know who this guy is. We're all Adam Schumann. We way. are. But I'm Dave Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and together we are Tuesday Toys. <gasps> So, let's get down to business. We're talking base overdrive pedals. Base overdrive pedals. That's right. Base overdrive pedals. We're going to go into distortion and fuzz. Mm -hmm. So, I guess maybe what would be appropriate would be to talk about the differences. Well, let's discuss. All right. Well, they're pretty similar in a lot of ways. Overdrive is the most organic of, out of all of them. And overdrive is meant to emulate what tubes sound like when there's a signal pushing them really hard and they kind of... They kind of uh, squish down the signal because they're being overdriven, right? So to speak, right? And then distortion would be would be even more overdrive. They're kind of synonymous, like I said. Their distortion would be kind of overdrive on steroids. So mm -hmm. if you're a film buff, Edward Norton and Fight Club. Edward Norton in American History X. Yes. Yeah. In Fight Club, it's an overdrive. In History X, it's beefy, distorted. And uh, Fuzz would be... Scent of a Woman. Yes. Yes. That's exactly what I was thinking about. Let's check out some overdrives. Let's start at in, in the foothills before we get to the peak of the mountain. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. So let's compare two of them. One is going to be the Ampeg Bass Scrambler. And then one is a kind of unlikely choice, which would be the Green Rhino which is a great pedal for guitar. And the Mark IV has a switch that you can either use the classic three knob uh, green rhino, mm -hmm. and then a toggle switch goes to where you can add 100 hertz, which is great oh. for bass players. Because a lot of bass players, if you try to use a guitar overdrive, you'll play through it and then it sounds good, the tone is good, however, there's some low end missing. Yeah. And when you can dial that in, it makes it sound really full and like a bass, the frequency is what they're supposed to be doing, right? Absolutely. Well, let, let's give it a listen. All right, here we go. So pretty cool. Yeah. It, it preserves the tone and gets some more grit. Do you want to uh, maybe play uh, a little bit more bass and we'll mess with the drives? I would say so. Yeah, yeah let's try that. Should we move on to bass distortion? Well, yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> right. Well, we're gonna use two MXR pedals because they make great bass distortions. Mm -hmm. uh, one's gonna be just called bass distortion. You know exactly what it is when you get it out of the box. It's a bass distortion? That's what it says. Well, Adam, how do I use it? 
Well, let me show you. <laughs> and we'll show you right next to the Base DI Plus. Oh, Lanza, yes. Which that one is also a real treat. Cool. Heck yeah. Notice when you just press the effect button without the distortion. Go ahead it, and try it. It goes away. No, it's got the EQ. Ah, the Shall we go to the bass? Fuzz? I think, uh, I think that, yes. yes okay. Fuzz would be the next thing on the list. And nobody knows fuzz like EHX. Electroharmonics. Big muff. Electroharmonics decided to make the pedal smaller and add a bass version of it, which does what we were talking about. It adds that low frequency so that you can get your bass sound preserved. So works even better than the guitar version of the big muff. Mm -hmm. So let's give that guy a listen. All right. Well, thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Come on down to Danville Music. Try these pedals out for yourself. You, you'd be surprised at what you like. And, you know, make up your own mind. Don't let me tell you what to think. However, what you should think is the is big the muff. Big the muff. Big the muff. Big well, no matter what videos you watch, no matter what kind of gear you're kind of chasing, it's always a good place to start, like finding out what your, uh, your favorite bass players use and then bring in your own equipment and try it out because everybody has their own personal tone and come into Danville Music and check it out. We'd love to see you. Absolutely. Take we'll care. see you soon. Shop the finest selection of musical instruments at danvillemusic.com. I just said that the same time as you did. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs>